Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning Techniques. This is your host Hemant and today we are going to understand uh, what script command does in Linux. So before starting this uh, video, I would like to uh, have your views exactly what tools you use to keep a capture of your screen or something else or whatever activities you are doing. So script is one of those tools that helps you in providing a TypeScript or you can simply say a paper proof of concept or a paper printout for you, which you can later use with the LP command. So without wasting much time, let's uh, have a look what all options it provides and how it how we can use that. So it simply provides a help with the hyphen H option. Uh, you can also do a man and it would provide you some more options. So the basic uh, format is script and then some options which are again optional and a file name which is again optional so if you don't provide anything and just invoke the command with the default options it would not uh, break anything so let's try and see what it will do so i started a command script now a background script is started which is keeping a log of everything you are doing on this terminal and the file name is typescript where it's going to write everything now start writing the command. So whatever activities you are doing, maybe you um, are look on the messages file. Okay. So now once you are done, you can simply do an exit and whatever you have uh, typed in this terminal that would be copied to a file name type script. So the same location where you are sitting, uh, it would write your file name TypeScript. So let's see what's all captured in the TypeScript. So basically, uh, it capped from it started from here. So it showed you at what time you initiated the script, then what all commands you ran, what all output came out of that, and then the exit, which you provided to exit the thing. And after that script is done on this much time. So it gives you an idea of the starting time and the end time as well, for which the capture is being done. Back to basics again, uh, what all options it provides. So maybe you don't want to um, write everything. Uh, you just want to have an output of only a single command. So it gives you that option as well. Just give hyphen C and uh, you can put your command. Like that. So if you carefully notice the output, it again started a script for you. The type is type script and then it uh, completed itself. You don't have to type and exit this time. Once your command is completed, it would uh, start giving you those messages. So again, if we have a look on the TypeScript file, we see that the same uh, command output is being stored in the file for which uh, we invoke this script. So um, there's one other useful option. You can also give a file name uh, if you don't want to go with the default type script. So just script, default script, then um, your file name where you want to put, um, let me put in my Ansible user directory, a file name session out.txt. And now the default file is not type script. Instead it's picking the file which you have provided. So it will create the file for you, uh, which you have given. Now start writing your commands, anything you want to see. And once you're done with your session, just exit that and it will let you know that the script is completed and the output is stored in this file. So again, we can uh, cat this file and see what all is captured in the last session history. So um, you can again, record all that. The funny thing is you can script all this session as well uh, inside the script. So that's a, again a good option. Then a hyphen Q option that would only make it quite so that you won't see any much messages. And when you exit, you will see um, that the script is being captured. Timings, um, this is also a good option. Uh, it would provide you um, whatever timings you uh, are uh, how much time you are taking between each tab and each command and it stores in a one or another file. So 
it's uh, beneficial uh, if you want to see how much time one is spending on the session but not that much useful there are some other options like flush force so even if you have a link uh, created for a file output file that will again override that it won't care about that uh, timings thing let's have a look exactly what it do first we'll see um, rather than seeing the default, let's uh, put inside a file. So the timings thing I'm putting inside a file, mm, time.txt. So my script is initiated, file type is TypeScript. Then I run a df-h, uname, and exit that script. So you haven't provided any file. So the obviously default type is TypeScript. So whatever command you have executed are stored inside that only. Let's have a look exactly what is stored here. Now here we'll notice that uh, what pause and what timestamp, the epoch values where you uh, typed anything. So that keeps a track of that. So that is pretty much uh, in the script section. It's a pretty friendly and a good command. Uh, and obviously um, it will be helpful if you are doing some troubleshooting and you don't want to keep a loose uh, of anything. Similar thing can be achieved through putty logs as well, but uh, it's your personal preference exactly uh, which command you want to go with. So that's all from my end in this video. Um, if you like it, share with your friends, uh, do test it and let me know the outputs. And thanks for being such a nice audience. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.